Hey guys, it's Marissa. So in today's video, it's obviously a very special video because I'm going to be entering in the Aries Life Aerie with a Twist giveaway for 2021 this year. And last year I also competed in the competition and it was just like really super fun to just get to know everyone. And um, I actually made some pretty good friends on there as well. So it was just really fun to do and just to see everyone's looks. And so last year was actually the first year that she did this. This was the second year for her to have this. And she's also going to be having a co-host with it as well, which was the winner of last year. So I'm just going to link her original video of how the contest went on Aries Life channel. I'm going to be linking her down below so you can just go check her out and you can check out um, just like the overall giveaway rules if you're interested in competing as well or entering in the competition. So basically the main rules are you have to follow the same exact eye look as her, but you have to add a twist to it. And my twist was adding like a little masquerade mask with the eye look. So that's exactly what I'm just going to be showing you in this tutorial if you're interested in seeing it or if you just kind of want to recreate this yourself for like maybe a Halloween look or something. And yeah, if you're interested to see how I'm doing this look, then just keep on watching. So I'm first going to just be priming my eyes and I'm going to be using the CoverGirl concealer stick in the shade Neutralizer and I'm just going to be putting this on my eyelids. And then the next thing she does is that she takes a burnt orange shade and I do not have that Juvia's Place palette on me so I'm going to be using something else so I'm going to just go ahead and use the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy palette and the shade I'm going to be using is kind of a mix between the shades Extra Spicy and Gingerbread Glam and she just kind of just puts this all over her eyelid as like the base of everything so I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing. The next shade that she used was from the James Charles palette and um, the shade was 518 so it's like this really pretty neon orange kind of like the same color of my shirt and she just applied that to her lid so I'm going to be doing the same thing as well. Then as like a center highlight for the eyelid she added the shade face and I'm just going to be applying that as well using my finger and it's like this really pretty shimmery gold color like how she said and I'm just going to go right in. Next for the lower lash line she applied a little bit of playground and also the shade hello but before i do that i'm just going to go ahead and add concealer and everything now and just kind of cleaning up the sides right here so i'm going to go ahead and do that she also said that i was allowed or that anyone who is participating is allowed to wear um like mascara eyeliner or whatever so i'm going to add a little bit of eyeliner too and that doesn't consider it as like the twist so i'm going to do that as well and you guys can just go ahead and watch me do that so I'm applying a liquid eyeliner which is in the shade Jet Black and this is from the e.l.f. Cosmetics. This is actually called the e.l.f. Expert Liquid Eyeliner if you're interested in getting it yourself. And using a washcloth i'm just kind of cleaning up any kind of fallout that i see and just really just sharpening the outer corners of my eye <music> then 
then I'm applying the Shop Miss AOA foundation, which is in the shade Porcelain, and I'm just blending everything in using a Real Techniques Beauty Complexion Sponge. And to bronze my face i'm going to be using the butter bronzer in the shade 6676 and then i'm applying blush as well which is the tarte blush in the shade peaceful and i'm applying everything using an alta blush brush For my lower lash line using an elf precision brush i'm applying the shade playground and then also for my inner corners i'm applying the shade hello and then i'm starting to add the little twist to my makeup look which is applying that same shade hello for not only my inner corners but i'm also using it as an all-over highlight and i'm just using a morphe blending brush for this and i just thought it would make it stand out a little bit more Then I'm going to go back in with the James Charles palette and I'm just going to be filling my brows using the shade Benny and I'm just applying this using an e.l.f. angled brush. Then for mascara, I'm going to be using the Ulta Beauty New Heights Lifting Mascara, which is in the shade Black, and I'm just going to be applying a few coats to my top and lower lashes. Okay, so now that I have my eye makeup done and basically all of my face as well, um, the little twist that I'm going to be doing is adding like a masquerade mask to it. So if you don't remember the rules of the contest, you cannot change up the eyes at all other than like adding falsies or eyeliner, but you have to add something with it so it could literally be anything. So I'm going to just obviously not change the eyes, but I'm going to be adding like a little masquerade mask around it and that's going to be my twist. So to outline everything, I'm going to be using the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Hot Chocolate. And this is actually an 18 hour waterproof eyeliner, so it's really super nice. It doesn't really smudge too much, but it still easily glides on. And I just really like this for things like this other than just eyeliner and stuff. And then afterwards, I am going to be darkening some spots over with an eyeliner, which is going to be that e.l.f. Expert Liquid Eyeliner again in the shade Jet Black. Then to add some color to it, I'm going to be using the Athena painting palette. So this is basically just a face paint palette and I use this a lot for my Halloween looks from last year. So I just think it's really super helpful and it just really helps add any kind of pop of color that you can't just do with foundation or eyeshadow. So I'm just doing that in that way and I'm adding first gold and then silver. And then I really wanted to complement more of that blue tone on the lower lash line of mine. So I added more of like a turquoise color and that was basically the completed look. And then afterwards, I just topped everything off with a very faint lip gloss from Alta. And it was just like one of those little free sample ones. So I don't have the shade name or anything, but it was the Alta Jelly Gloss. And that was basically the completed look.
this is the completed look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and if you want to go vote for me, Aries Life on YouTube, she will have a little post on there where you can go vote and go ahead and subscribe to her and also just show her some love as well and along with like all of the other contestants good luck to everyone who's going to be entering in this giveaway i'm really super excited to see everyone else's looks for this year and if you're interested to see more videos from me you can just subscribe down below i upload every sunday at 3 p.m eastern standard time and i'll just see you guys next time bye